Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something super exciting and cutting edge in the AI agent ecosystem, Langgraph. So first, what is Langgraph? Langgraph is an open source framework that lets you build agentic workflows as graphs. Think of it as building powerful modular AI workflows, but with more flexibility, transparency, and true parallelism than you get with the traditional chains. In other words, instead of just chaining steps one after another, like in Langchain, with Langgraph, you can create graph where nodes can run in parallel, branch, merge, and handle complex flows, almost like you are designing an AI-powered flowchart. Some advantages of Langgraph are parallel execution, nodes can execute simultaneously, flexibility, you design complex workflow that match the real-world reasoning, stateful, each node operates with a shared, updatable state so that you can easily pass information between steps. In summary, Langchain is for simple chains. Langgraph is for complex dynamic workflows. Let's see how this works in practice. We are going to build a 360-degree topic analyzer that does three things. Find the latest academic research, fetches relevant news, gather industry insights, all in parallel and merges them into a beautiful summary. All right, let's break down the hands-on Langgraph workflow. Just a quick note, Analytics Vidya has 100 plus free courses from beginner to advanced on topics like machine learning, generative AI, agents, etc. Complete with certification. Click the I button to explore now. First, we load all the required Python libraries, things like AsyncCO for asynchronous programming, requests, for making API calls, .env for handling environment variables, and of course, the core, Langgraph and Langchain packages for agentic workflow. Next, we load our API keys securely from the environment. This is a good practice because we don't want to hard code sensitive keys inside our script. We fetch our OpenAI key and Serper key using .env, so our script is ready to call both language models and web search API. After the setup, we initialize our language model. In this example, I am using OpenAI model GPT 4.1 Nano with a low temperature for more focused and factual answers. This model will handle all our summarization and generation tasks. Now for Langgraph to work, we need a state schema. Think of it as a shared memory or dictionary that every agent in the workflow can read or write to. For our use case, we define the information we want to collect, including topic, academic summary, news summary, industry insights, and the final report. We also need a tool for web search. That's where Serper Search Tool class comes in. It's basically a little helper that lets our agent pull in live data from the web whenever they need fresh news or industry updates. Now, we build our agent function. These are just Python functions, each doing a specific job. The academic agent queries the LLM for the latest research and the key papers on the topic. The news agent uses the web search tool to grab and summarize recent headlines. The industry agent looks for trends, funding news, and other business updates. Now, a merge and summarize agent that takes all these pieces of information and generate a 360 degree report. And finally, a function to display all the results. The magic of plan graph lies in how it allows us to define the workflows as graph instead of rigid sequences. In this approach, we model each agent like academic, news, and industry agent as a node in the graph. Rather than executing these agents one after another, Langgraph lets us run them in parallel, which makes the workflow faster and more efficient. Edges define how data and execution flow between the nodes. Think of edges as connection or pathway between the tasks. When you add an edge from one node to another, example, academic agent to news agent, you are telling Langgraph what should happen next once a node completes. Edges also control data flow, passing the output of one agent as input to the next one. Multiple edges from one node allow for parallel branches. For example, academic agent might trigger both news agent and the part that goes directly to the summarizer. Eventually, all branches can converge through edges into merge node, like the summarization agent, which brings everything together. So, while nodes define what happens, edges define when and how it happens. Once these agents complete their task, their output are merged and passed to a summarization agent. This design enables us to process multiple information at the same time and combine their insight for a more comprehensive and nuanced summary. Finally, we have our run function. 
This is the main entry point. It takes a topic as input, builds the initial state, and runs the whole workflow either synchronously or asynchronously, depending on your preference. I have given the input as OpenAI, and the end result, in just few seconds, you get a neatly structured and multi-perspective report. And that's how you go from a raw topic input to an expert-level AI-generated research summary, all orchestrated with LangGraph. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into LangGraph. If you're building AI workflows that need to go beyond simple chains or something more dynamic, more intelligent, and more scalable, LangGraph is absolutely worth exploring. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.